Today in the shop, I'm going to show you how to wire up for a receptacle outlet, cut it in, and then install the outlet. So what I'm going to show you here is the nail-on single gang box and it has these two little spacers that stick out on the box as you see here and here. So what you do is you push those against the front of the 2x4 and then you nail on the box and that should give you the right amount of space uh, sticking out for the drywall. For this demonstration, I'm going to use 14 2 wire, and I just have the boxes screwed on to the 2x4 to secure them in place. And I'm going to put two wires in one box and one wire in the other box. Now 14 2 wire is 14 gauge wire with two conductors and a ground. The conductors are the black wire and the white wire. The white wire would typically be your neutral and the black would typically be your hot. And I've got two wires in one box and one wire in the other box. Now you take a razor knife and you just strip out the outer coating and then cut that away leaving only the black the white and the ground and then you could stuff those in the box to get them back out of the way if you're going to put up drywall or anything and then you do the same with the two wires you strip off the coating the big difference with the multiple wires in a box is that you have to make up your ground wires and there's multiple different ways but in this case I have these little green wire nuts and they have a hole in the end of them where you can twist all your wire nuts together and trim down all of them but one and when you put the wire the ground wire nut on there you actually stick the one long piece of ground wire through and that'll make up your ground wires and you can get this pack at Home Depot for about three dollars for ten so it's not a bad price well your typical receptacle is going to look like this as you see there's one side that has two brass screws and two holes in the back and two silver screws and two holes in the back that correspond and there's also these little breakouts that you can break out and you would separate the top screw and the top hole from the bottom screw and the bottom hole so in order to hook up these receptacles all you have to do is twist the little a little hook on the ground wire hook it on the green screw and then tighten it down and then you take one of your two conductors in this case the white wire and strip off about half an inch about the width of your pinky finger and then you can just stick it in the back of the receptacle and it's not going to come out and then do the same with the black wire strip it off and then push it right in and that's that's all you have to do and then all that's left is screwing down the receptacle into the box and you don't need a drill to do this you could do this with a hand screwdriver and you're done
Well, hooking up a receptacle with two or more sets of wires is about the same. You hook your ground wire and tighten that down. And then you're going to strip off your neutral wires. And always remember that your neutral goes on the silver screws. It's easy to remember. The white wires go with the white screws. Now you don't have to push them in the back. You can actually hook them around the screws if you want. It doesn't really matter as long as they're on the same side. As long as your neutral wires are under the silver screws, it'll work just fine. You see the bottom one is pushed in and the top one's around the screw and that'll work just fine. And then strip off your black wires and your black wires always go under the brass colored screws. And here I'm just pushing them both in the back. I'm stuffing the receptacle into the box screwing the box the receptacle into the box and then I'm done and that's all there is to it well, I hope you learned something and remember always have your power off when you're working with electric and I'll catch you next time. Don't forget to check out one of these other videos and click the subscribe button, like, share, all that goodness. I appreciate it, and I'll see you next time on this old house. It's not, no, this is not this old house. I'm not that good. I don't get the, this old house kind of money.